Warning, this video contains conversations about eating disorders. If you aren't ready to hear this, please do not watch. It will also include annoying chewing and a lot of lisping. Sorry. Okay, thanks for answering my FaceTime. Today we are, well not we, I am gonna eat danger food. I think I am ready to do it. So that's why I'm doing this challenge. I've been wanting to do it before, but I it the idea of doing this challenge used to stress me out. Now it kind of makes me excited because I know I can do it. And that literally anybody can do this, you know, you just have to want to recover. I really feel like you have to want it more than anything else, more than listening to Ed, more than losing that weight, more than anybody else that one time said something about your body. You have to want to be better and not care about that stuff. It's hard, you know, it really is, but it's, you have to pick yourself over anything else. So hopefully you decide that soon and you know, you join me. But today I'm eating Reese's Pieces cereal. This is the first time um, I'll be eating cereal without binging and purging. Um, sorry, my hair looks really shitty. I have to wash it. I literally have been up since 10 because I can't. I'm a night owl and it's 6 a.m. Monday. And basically, I woke up at 10 and I went to the laundry room there's an automatic we have an automatic cat cleaner like cleaning litter box that i got for christmas and basically i was convinced it had maggots in there so i had to try to take it apart and clean it because i was so scared of maggots like they're so disgusting to me i hate it but yeah there was nothing in there other than dust and a little bit of litter but i have so much energy at night so i figured i should take advantage of it and now I wanted to show you that it's Monday on my phone because I'm not going to fit danger foods all in one day. That's binging behavior. I think it's very important for us in order to recover, learn our, our healthy limit of foods. That's why I'm going to spread it out throughout the week because I can't just eat all in one go. And to avoid that guiltiness, more of like oh, it's fine, it's normal, you know, like, I don't know, I, hopefully I'm making sense, and that's why I'm gonna eat throughout the week, it doesn't have to be tomorrow, whenever I come across the dangerous foods, I'll be, you know, showing you guys, and if you don't care about my background explanation, skip to the next food, but if you do, I can explain it, okay, <laughs> the reason I have a dead birdie on my background, that's the background I had, um, so I moved it all the way to this one and the reason I had that one even back then, a dead birdie, is because I used to walk a lot in, outside and I came across a lot of dead animals and I just felt like it's so, it, it's so wrong to see dead animals, especially like, you know, newborn baby ones because they didn't even get to live their life and it happened so often where it's like it felt wrong to just leave them there like they're so innocent and th they don't harm anything really they're just trying to live their animal baby life so I, I, it made it, I made it my duty to pick them up and bury them like give them a proper burial kind of like to show my respect for them because I hated the thought of them getting like driven over over and over again till they were like flat oh my gosh that sucks so bad so i'm like nope and i would give them a proper burial walk around gather some flowers and put it on their little tombstone or whatever it was just a rock um and i don't know i just thought that if i was an animal and i died i would want somebody to bury me but now i'm thinking ashes turned into ashes would be better because I don't want no maggots eating me. Maggots are just something else. Like, they just really gross me out. They're disgusting. They eat off live animals. Like, anything that eats off of something that's still alive grosses me out so bad. It is disgusting. That's the only animals, type of animals that I don't feel protective over. Um, if they're kind of just like, ugh, they're just slimy and disgusting. Some of them, I just can't do it. When I was in healthcare, um... We had, like, in surgery, they were explaining to us that sometimes we had to deal with people that had injuries that were um, infected and there was, like, maggots in there. So gross. I'm so sorry I keep talking about this. <sighs> it's just 
See, now it's going to be hard to eat this. I'm just kidding. I, I'll do it. I'll just watch a video while I eat it. What is going on? This is so ugly. Ugh, guys. Should I cut my hair again? It's getting really long. Or should I let it grow out? I don't know. Let me know. But I'm going to try to eat this cereal. And if I come across more food, I'll check back in with you guys. So, yeah. Bye. No more maggot talk. Okay. Yeah, I was eating it, and I'm not completely done, but I had enough because I, <laughs> I keep thinking there's holes in these guys. You see the holes? Oh my gosh, what if there was a freaking maggot in there? <laughs> and the milk tastes kind of gross after a while. I don't know, it's, it's weird how your taste buds kind of don't care about the food you used to eat. Um, so yeah. I can't, I can't keep eating this. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. Like, I guess when you're starving, everything's delicious. But these, these hair's so annoying. But yeah, I just can't keep eating it. I just keep thinking about the maggots I saw. Um, and it's grossing me out. I think I'm done. That's as far as it goes. I think I could eat, like, Cheerios or something. Maybe I'll, I'll try it again. If this doesn't count. I'll try another cereal later on, but I need like to know it's fresh milk and it's new cereal because I'm very paranoid <laughs> with the maggots. I just, I need to stop thinking about them so much and I really need to wash my hair because it's doing all kinds of weird shit, but I'm lazy. Okay, I just fell asleep. <laughs> it's two and I fell asleep hoping I could stay up to improve my sleep schedule you know to fit normal sleep schedules but oh well i'm actually surprised i didn't sleep till like seven so i actually think i did a good job i um my hair needs to be washed it's an emergency honestly but my mom she bought me this so i'm gonna try it if you can see it this, hopefully it does something because I don't know, sometimes like I feel like my mom's nice way of saying something's wrong with me is by giving me something that could fix it. And my hair, like I'm not surprised. It's always been a problem with my mom. She used to do my hair and it's always like, you know, like, it's always gotten on her nerves cause it's frizzy. But, I don't know, I'll try it. But look at my skin guys. Surprisingly enough, I know it's still not good, but it looks pretty good. Like, all these dots are like, um, scars, and I don't see a new breakout. Hopefully, knock on wood, I don't get any more because I'm so tired of it. Like, I don't know what to do. I've been using this. This is the best thing I've been using. So, it kind of, that's why it frustrates me when it doesn't work. But the thing is, the reason, if you try that, I recommend it. If you have, like, acne that's always breaking out, you know, like whiteheads. Because it literally shrinks it. But be careful because it dries you out. Because that's, it dries out the acne. So, don't just clump it all on your face. So, yeah, I did that. And now my skin is really dry because I just, I was so fed up with, like, breakouts and breakouts. But... So far, I don't know if I should just keep applying it because I don't want to over dry my skin because I don't see any new breakouts. I'll probably put it on this if it's in this. But yeah, I'm gonna go shower. I should be eating my next danger food soon, but I'm just not hungry. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's strange that the time I can eat normally and everything and I just, I don't have an appetite. I feel full and I just want to do something fun. I don't know, maybe when I get hungry, I'll, I'll tell you guys and show you what I'm eating. But for now, I don't know. I think I'm going to wait till I do because then I'll get nauseous and not want to finish my food. That tends to happen a lot when you become, you know, healthier because you have to stick, stay with it in your stomach. It's kind of hard to like really be hungry for that long. I used to be hungry right away, right after purging. It's like, oh my gosh, now I'm planning my next one, my next binge. But it's like, I don't care about food. And I think it's so strange that I've totally forgot how that felt like. It's like, people live like this all their life. They literally eat a sandwich and they're good. And I used to think like I would never be, you know, good to go. But now I'm over here looking at light creams and focusing on my skin and other stuff. It's crazy where like your focus shifts and you can just 
leave that alone. Food slowly becomes what it was supposed to be. Just food. Okay, I showered and I did my eyebrows way too dark. But I washed my hair and it's drying right now. I'm waiting for it to dry completely so I can put it up because then it's just too heavy. But I applied this stuff, this thing, and I do not recommend it so far because it kind of feels crusty and sticky, almost like a conditioner. Like, it's not supposed to stay on. But it did make my hair straighter and yeah, it made my hair straighter. Like, it's not curling or waving at all. So, yeah, but I do not recommend this. Honestly, I don't. But, yeah, I'm just gonna wait until it dries and put it up. And when I'm hungry, I'll come back to you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have, like, no appetite at all. Like, I don't even want Dunkin' Donuts coffee, which is weird because I always do. I just feel kind of, like, ugh. Like, I just want to do something. I'm bored. I want to go outside before it gets really, you know, cold. I don't want winter to come. I'm not ready for winter. I'm not re ready for Halloween. I'm not ready for anything. I just want to, um, I want summer to come back. <laughs> I, look, it's kind of drying like this. My hair is naturally really annoying to deal with. If anybody asks me what texture it is, I always want to say annoying because it sometimes it'll be straight and sometimes it'll be curly and sometimes it's both at the same time. So it's kind of hard to try things out because it's always going to be different. Like it's, it, it likes to surprise me every time. So I'll see you guys later. Hello. It is the same day, but I kept falling asleep. I tried to eat like I've been trying to eat all day, but I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I ate something bad. But it's finally, what time is it? 8.47 and my dad made food, tacos. I'm supposed to add shit on it, but not actual shit, okay? Like, <laughs> but like, you know, cebollas and what do we call them? Just stuff, onion and all that. But I'd rather not and I stole another one, a burrito because I like this one more since it has beans and eggs and, um, I'm Mexican, so <sighs> sorry, my breath smells. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be eating. But I'm actually gonna go eat with my family because I don't want to be uh, hiding in my room all day. And they're gonna be like, "Why does she keep leaving?" <sighs> but yeah, I'm gonna go eat this, and I drink it with one of these. Um. You know, because we used to, we all drink diet drinks. I accidentally developed a taste for it. And now I like it more than the original one for some reason. Every time I taste an original, like, Coke, I think it's going to be good. But then I'm like, it tastes weird now. <sighs> okay, well, bye guys. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Or unless I have, a, uh, like, a dessert or something. I don't know. I didn't do that well. I eat a, a lot of this. This is really good, but I'm just really full. And I tried to eat one of these, but I couldn't finish the tortilla, the meat. I just, I don't know. I'm just really not interested in food right now. <sighs> like, I want to try to eat, but I have, like, no appetite and I'm really full. And I honestly think it's because of my mood. I don't know if you guys are like this too, but, like, I hate it, but, like, I get my feelings hurt really easily, not just by people directing it towards me, but towards anybody else. Like, if I see somebody mistreating somebody, it bothers me, too. I take it to heart, basically, so I'm kind of, like, I don't want to be around people that make me feel like that. Especially when they kind of play it off as a joke, because then it's like, oh, great, I'm the butt of a joke again. That was fun. So yeah, I'm just going to be in my room hanging out until I watch videos till tomorrow and I cheer up tomorrow. Hopefully I'll feel a lot better and try to stay, hang out by myself till I cheer up and then I'll come around and hang out with my family. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But I did eat tortillas dipped in oil which was something i thought i'd never get to eat and i didn't really care too much about it i loved my mom's food more than my dad's and he saw me doing that he saw me eating more of my mom's but 
I feel so bad, like, I don't want to hurt his feelings, so I didn't downright say it. I just told him that I just, I'm not much of a mediator anymore. <sighs> I just don't find it, like, you know, the, the taste for it as much anymore. I guess I have to crave meat in order to eat it. It's starting to, like, really kind of gross me out. This is beans and egg. I really, I... When I was in, you know, my really sick mode, the dark times, I cut out cooking eggs in oil and then I would just use anything that was calorie free of oil and then I just started uh, poaching them. But eventually I just completely cut out eggs because of the yolk and then I just didn't eat eggs and for some reason it just became something so delicious to me. And now I still love them. So I can't be vegan. <laughs> I could definitely see myself being a vegetarian because I just don't care for meat anymore and I just think it's kind of messed up what we do to animals, you know? Like maybe once, once a week it would be okay and maybe from places that don't treat their animals like shit, but I don't know. Everything with meat is not seeming appetizing to me right now and maybe it's just I'm in a sad mood, you know? like. But see, it's it's to the point where I didn't even want coffee, and when I'm really sad, that's the first thing I want. I want coffee to cheer me up, and I didn't even want coffee today. It's so weird that I'm like this. I don't want to be like sad all the time, you know. But it just kind of sucks, and this really stumps me. Just like I need to really stop taking things so seriously. But I just I feel things too much and they, they get to me and they affect me so much it's so annoying and that's why i hang around like i like to hang around um animals who won't hurt your feelings or just people that will make you happy and laugh but that's why i'm on here because you guys are very nice but i could always see your messages so that's good so yeah sorry i ranted about being sad <laughs> it just this world isn't made for people with big hearts because there's more place for it to get broken, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Hopefully you don't call me Snowflake because I used to be called that a lot and it just really bothered me. You know, old men used to call me that and it was just rude and uncalled for, but whatever. Well, I'll see you. Bye. Hello, it is Tuesday and I finally got some of my appetite back and I craved um, toast with butter because I would not allow myself to have um, no butter and then eventually no bread but I love bread and I did put a lot because look that's a lot of butter if this doesn't count I, I don't know how this wouldn't count as one of the things shoot I think I put too much mm. I already bit one of them, but I have two. And I do want Duncan now, so I think hanging out with myself made my mood get better. I was even laughing in my room because of the videos and just cheering myself up. And I think I have restless, restless leg syndrome because my legs are so annoying at night. I just want to go on a run or a walk. I'm not a good runner, so like... And I'm kind of scared to go by myself. I always think of the worst things, but yeah. It's 1.25 in the morning and I'm eating toast. I promise I'll show you guys. I'll let you guys know if I don't finish or if I do finish my food. I'll be completely honest, okay? So I went to make more toast and we're out of jelly. Do you guys ever get the end of bread every time you get... I mean, when you used to get toast. Because I feel like we're all afraid. Um, Because nobody in your family likes the end and you feel bad for the end i always do that like our and i know nobody wants to eat it so i'm like i'll just do it dude like it's not that bad i like it it's so good butter our mortal enemy guys where is he he's probably not ed made us think that and this whole time it was just delicious. Mm. Uh huh. Mirenlo. ¿Qué haces a ver?
¿Qué haces? Arias. Qué cobrón eres, mocoso. Como un otro. Qué bonito, mírenlo. He's so cute. Oh my god. Anyways, Adios was trying to eat a pill I left on the shelf for when I was sick and didn't want to take two. And now he's trying to find it. What? Is he okay? Like, guys, he's trying to find the pill he was trying to eat. Tuesday, 5.41 p.m. Yes. I did eat already, I promise, but I didn't show it because I don't think it was, uh, it's, can you focus? Focus, please, I know I'm hard to look at sometimes. Hi, oh my god, I don't look like myself. I look like my name is Giovanna or something. Okay. Yeah, well, I ate today already. Um, I had Subway. I didn't show it because it's more of like just a sandwich, but I have a lot of other foods I can show and I didn't want to just, you know, I didn't have my camera. I didn't want to show it in front of like whoever I was eating with. They're like, what are you doing? But I did, I'm, I'm going to have a snack. I didn't finish my Subway, by the way. I only ate half of it because I just got, I'm getting really like, I don't know. My appetite is not good. I don't know why. But I'm back to getting coffee, so I guys have a hard time drinking uh, drinks with calories in it. I do it all the time, even before, like when I had an ed, I'd always not eat enough just so I could have enough calories to drink coffee with cream and sugar. I still drink like dark coffee with nothing, but I had to have coffee with cream and sugar because coffee filled me up so much that I didn't want anything. So that's why I'm not, I haven't drank my coffee yet because I wanted to finish at least one today of um, danger foods. And one of you wrote um, Oreos and I was the same too. I think I can do it now. There was a party at my house for my brother and they had Oreos and I took two and I just ate it and I didn't binge. So here it is. I'm only gonna grab like four, maybe three, because I'm not that hungry at all. I just, I'm gonna use this as a snack. Here's my milk. Promise there's milk in here. It's um, low fat milk, I think, because I had for my cereal, I had the whole milk, but it tasted gross. Like, I think it's old. And for me, guys, I I used to eat food and it went bad and it's it dramatized me. But when I was a kid, so now I'm suspicious of like milk because that's what happened with it. I'm just gonna plop three in. Let them cook. so annoying why do you guys watch me <laughs> but yeah um i have three in here so far i don't want them to get too gooey this is like this used to be my sister's favorite snack i think um for me i you have to really p pick what you struggle with and try to s like fix that you know like not everything is gonna be um, we have a lot of the same problems, like everybody, like from hearing the post I did. And it's very interesting, but we have different rules that we made. Like for me, it was, I had to finish my plate when I was a kid because we didn't have enough food. So I had to always finish my food and it felt, growing up, it felt guilty if I didn't finish my food because then it'd go bad. So now because of when I'd binge and purge, I would always finish what I was eating. Like when it was a, a bag of chips, I had to finish the whole bag and that made me feel like, damn, I ruined my diet. So now I have to just eat whatever and like get rid of it. And that's how it became a really big problem. But now I'm trying to get through that part where it's like, you don't have to finish your food. If you don't want the rest of something, you don't have to finish it. And that's why I haven't been finishing my food if I don't want to, because I don't want to like restart that idea of like I have to finish everything and then I feel guilty because I'm so full or whatever 
you might have the opposite problem where like you have to finish your food in order to know you made it you know or you, like you're doing good but for me it's like i know what works for me and i think it, that's why it's so important to know who you are and understand yourself so well because you can work with yourself mm -hmm. mm. really good mm -hmm. you know what's weird i think one of you said that cookies were a thing you really want but back then when ed wasn't telling you what to do and stuff you didn't care for cookies like you didn't care at all for cookies and that's exactly how i feel too i didn't care for cookies for cheese for any of that stuff sweets i didn't care for sweets that much at all this is good though because like i think sweets were just too overpowering for me when i was healthy and when I was starving, it like, it satisfied me because the big sweetness, the intense sweetness, um, made me catch up to everything else I missed, I guess. This, on the other hand, it's so good because of the milk. It makes it not so sweet. Mmm. It's double stuffed, too, which is weird because I actually don't like the inside of cookies. I like the outside more. And I don't like, don't like frosting. I started to like frosting when I was really sick. It's so good. I like how cold the milk is. But I think it's really important to find the point where food becomes gross. It's because you like overdid it, you know? Or you can't taste it anymore. You're just eating it to eat it. I'm trying to find my limit too while I do this because like it's important and I think I'll have one more in here. See. One more cookie in here. I purposely got like this cup because when I used to binge I would get a really big one and I these would probably be gone too or I'd leave, just leave a whole bag in my room which was not a good idea. But when you get, you know, like there comes a time when you're just sick and tired of being always thinking about this stuff. And now I don't care about the calories. Like I, I used to obsess over them and I don't care. Like I don't care about the calories in milk. I don't care about the calories of like cookie, you know. I just, if I'm gonna get healthy, it's like, or not healthy, but like if I'm gonna lose weight or something you know like to do with that it has to be the healthy way because i just can't with ed like i'm so over him he never bought me flowers <laughs> did you did he buy you guys flowers no he didn't all that boy did is bring us problems that's all he ever did I'll see you guys when I get a craving for any other uh, other foods, okay? And thanks for writing so many ideas down, okay? Bye, guys. Um, it is 10.28 Wednesday p.m. Yeah, p.m. I just woke up, if you can see. Um, I was freaking out. I had the longest nightmare ever, and... I believed every part of it, which is so dumb. Like, why didn't I wake myself up, you know? I'm gonna eat, um, Alice mentioned hers is pizza, and I even added that. Cheese sticks, and, and then, of course, Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its? I'm not a big fan of Cheez-Its, ever. I just don't, I don't care for cheese, especially when I'm not, when I'm, when I was starving, I really wanted cheese. That's all I wanted. Like a big block of cheese for some reason. It's gonna fall. But yeah, I have to eat it with this, the pizza, because I can't handle cheese and I also can't handle, here, let's see, actually. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, it is. Never mind. Why did I grab this kind? I don't like, um, sausage on pizza. It tastes disgusting. Uh, pepperoni is starting to get there, but it's not that bad when I douse it in hot sauce, but um, I have to try pizza. It, is, it, it was a reason I uh, relapsed recently. 
um but i found out i used to relapse more not really the food it was mainly because um my situation my family problems and just my mental state so and i'm trying to get to the point where like if i'm sad or if something's not going right everything's just bad i have to go through the motion of it go through the feeling of it instead of covering myself Good. can't believe i believe that nightmare it was so dumb like i really did believe zombies and just people dying so dumb i'm so disappointed in myself no okay shit i how did i not know it was a nightmare i like with nightmares it's not like sleep paralysis with nightmares, I can just jump out when it's ridiculous. But it was ridiculous the whole time. Mmm. That's spicy. I like these little chicken thingies. Oops. I dropped that. <clears throat> oh, Halloween's coming up. Maybe I can share. See, like, I want to share my nightmares. Because I used to have a lot more but when i describe them to people it's funny like it's so dumb it's like it's scary when you're there but like when i tell people they they think it's like i'm a child or something mm, i might get a dessert later i don't have any coffee today I don't want these cheeses, but I'll do it for Alice. I'm actually glad um they're in a container like this because it kind of helps me. Um, you guys mentioned some of you can't eat cooked meals or meals that you can't find the container for. Like, have a specific thing you can measure, but it's like for me that might be something you you have to like, try to push yourself through. For me, it's um I like when it comes like this though because it can stop me from binging. And some of us, it can do the same thing. Like, you have to really stick to it. Like, if you're not overly full and you had all of this, you can't go get more. And maybe just buy the containers, you know, and each day have it where, like, you can't um, eat all of it, basically. Because that was my problem, too. But I'll come back when all of this is... Or I'll try to see if I want all of it. I don't want to, like, stuff myself. But it's pretty good. Even the cheesy bread, which I didn't think I'd ever enjoy again. Ew. I used to binge on these. And they're so nasty. They're literally cardboard with cheese on them. Not even the good kind of cardboard. But, um, by the way, Alice, I know you meant the mix. But I don't have it, so I had to just try this. I'm done. That's all I could eat, really. When I was binging, I would eat way more, but I just can't. I do want dessert, so I had to make room for that. Because I, I really want Oreos now. Especially since Ed is so quiet. I fear him coming back to me. Like his voice, you know, being in that grip. But it really takes time and work towards, you know, not listening to him. So, I'm gonna go get some Oreos with milk or something. And I, I don't know if, like, you guys are like this, but my favorite part of the pizza is the regular, what's it called, crust. That's my favorite part. Like, if I could just order a pizza with all crust, that would be so good to me. Because I don't like this so much because the cheese is just too much. So if you've ever had, like, hated crust off of anything, I think we are meant to be best friends. I love the crust of things. Damn, I look really bad. Ugh, what is wrong with me? See, if I sleep at night, I have nightmares. But, like, I fell asleep and it was dark already. Coincidence? I'm gonna eat this. This. Mm -hmm. The chicken is my favorite. But. I don't know. It's still kind of dry. 
What am I? A critic? Or a sick person? It looks like I'm just being a critic. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go get dessert. I'm so glad for my sauce because it made this bearable. Um, I really love Papa John's pizza with a bunch of like veggies on it. Maybe I'm like a secret vegan. Not even. Maybe I'm a secret veg vegetarian, not vegetable. Secret vegetarian because it's just the pepperoni grosses me out. The meat is starting to gross me out. It's like, why is there no flavor? I don't know. Like, maybe I'm just crazy. But guys, like, meat has, like, no flavor other than itself. And I need more variety. By the way, I'm, s I'm sorry, Alice. But if yours has Cheez-Its in it, and if you like Cheez-Its, um... Like, it looks good, but it's not. It's just... Oh my gosh, it's so gross. You know what I'm looking forward to? One of you guys said pancakes was a, a big trigger food. And same. But, damn, I miss them. You know, like, once I have them... See, here's the deal when you're recovering. You'll eat it, and then you'll love... You'll fall in love with that food again. Or maybe not. You'll realize it was all in your head. When you fall in love with the food, like Oreos, you're gonna have it enough times because now you allow yourself to have it. Because Ed isn't as strong as you used to and you're gonna get sick and tired of that food it's like a song you keep listening to eventually it loses its new feeling it just gets really tiring and then you're gonna move on and eventually all the foods are gonna be just food like just you're gonna get cravings and stuff so yeah i'm gonna go get some dessert if i don't film the dessert it's because i already showed it okay Okay, you guys, I gotta end this video because it's really long. So I'm gonna end it with McDonald's. Okay, one of you guys mentioned it's cheeseburger and fries. So I got it, which was also one of mine. Anything McDonald's, as you can see, I've been eating from it. Um, anything McDonald's was pretty much bad. But we're on the... We're on this journey to m try to make everything not bad, you know? It is really late. I mean, not really. It's Thursday, 7.31. One of you also said that you have a hard time and you wanted me to try drinking calories. And I always drink my calories. Like, I was always the w I would not eat enough just so I could drink my coffee with cream. And... That, that wasn't really a challenge for me other than just like trying to cut down on other stuff, but I don't want to do that anymore. One of you guys said that oatmeal was a trouble, like um, a danger food, which is interesting because I did get oatmeal. Oh my god, why is this so big? But yeah, I got, I did get an oatmeal because for me though, oatmeals were a safe food from McDonald's even. I don't know why. It was safe. It's so weird to find, like, some of you are afraid of the foods that saved me. I haven't seen, um, I don't know, I guess I was always eating, but, um, foods like this and this were the, the problem. So, but, yeah, I really want pancakes. Sorry, this ketchup is almost out. I never thought of ketchup being a problem either, but I did- I didn't eat ketchup either. I had a lot of hot sauce. Added flavor to all the bland stuff that you eat. Mmm. It's good. It's good, guys. Okay, I'm dipping ketchup. This is the first time I've been eating, um, I've had fries before. First time I've eaten a cheeseburger without, you know, binging, purging. Everything's so much more filling when you know you have, like, you can't, you know, get rid of it. Like, you'll be surprised. When you start recovering, you'll be surprised, like, this is what made me freak out, you know? It really opens up your eyes. If you never cared for the food that now you you really like, you'll go back to that. Like, I can't- I hate cheese. Right now I can handle this cheese because it's not that overpowering to me. But when I wasn't eating enough, I wanted cheese. Like, I was craving it. But then I stopped, you know, restricting. I started eating 
not completely healthy like i'm not there yet i can't handle a lot of food like i used to um but i wasn't starving anymore and i went back to not liking cheese like i don't like cheese anymore so it's really weird i'll go back to that once you start you know recovering but yeah i'm gonna finish this i know i'm gonna finish this it's really good i'm gonna eat my fries and i'll come back to you guys and let you know show you what i finished and whatnot but i'll i'll check in with you guys later okay oh yeah look my face is kind of clearing up i think it had something to do with lack of food but i'll come back okay last bite of cheeseburger with ketchup and last fry I did take out the pickles. I never was into like pickles and the cheeseburger. I only ate it when I was binging because I was starving. And I wouldn't eat just pickles and just pickles. Just cheeseburger and um, fries. I actually would get a Big Mac, large fries, um, a diet, a large diet soda, and... Um, 10 piece chicken nuggets what else guys a mcflurry and that's what i would eat and then i'd come home and i'd eat chips and now i can barely finish fries and my own cheeseburger i still have this in my coffee <sighs> see what i mean it's very interesting to see that i wasn't this empty pit that could not be filled you know like i just thought i was such a you know like, I remember people would say, like, you're such a fatty, like, eating so much. But it was really because I was starving myself. And my body was, like, begging me to eat everything in sight so it would just not shut down, you know? But when, when you guys start recovering, you'll realize that you, ha you have to, re you know, relearn to stop. To stop the binging. To stop overeating. Because your body will figure itself out. It will, you know, like, it it'll find its normal stage because like for me the biggest problem was binging because i didn't know how to stop it but it's really just finding that limit testing yourself every time and not guilt tripping yourself you know like right now my body's like satisfied but there's a part of me that's saying why would you do that that's so many calories blah 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 but i'm like that's not that's not me you know that was never me before that is that ed voice i'm trying to quiet down and i'm gonna quiet him down by eating whatever I want, satisfying myself, listening to my body instead of like always trying to control my intake all the time because that's not a life I want to live. And I really did, you know, like when I have to try more foods because I'm, I'm so full, but you have to keep eating because we're so used to starving that this seems like a lot. But I can, right now I don't have uh, breakfast lunch and dinner and then snack in between and that's normal you're supposed to do that but it's like i can't do it i'm so used to eating normally like when i've been recovering i'll eat just once a day like uh, a meal a day and that's it. i'm good to go but we just got ourselves used to not eating you know like just eating and binging whenever we could basically starving ourselves 24 7 and I don't want to live like that. I want to be able to enjoy cake at people's birthday parties, you know, when they're having their day. I want to be able to, like, order at any restaurant something to eat and not have to cater to, like, that Ed voice, you know, and what he will allow me to eat. It's really something you have to, you have to pick on your own. There's a lot of people that chose to, you know, recover, but they think just, just picking recovery isn't that, that's not just it. You have to keep picking over and over again as long as you can till you don't have to pick because you already know you recovered, you know? The guilt gets me all the time. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's still there, you know? I still see numbers sometimes, but I just, you have to pick to ignore that. You have to pick to, you know, not fall into that again. And that's why I, I'm testing myself and I'm actually surprised I haven't, you know, freaked out and i think i'm doing okay you know even if i don't finish all my food as long as i don't go and like get rid of it 
or like try to exercise it or try to pick at myself in my head for it i think i'm doing pretty good and i think that when you guys get there you'll realize that the food we were begging you know our body was begging us to eat wasn't that big of a deal like it really wasn't we just thought it was because we convinced ourselves we don't deserve it and it's not true just because you haven't you know you haven't done any activities for the day you deserve food no matter what it's just bullshit that we did this to ourselves and if making this video helped you know one of you figure that out or think about that then it's worth it because it's kind of weird filming myself eating, you know, foods. And, like, McDonald's in general isn't healthy. But it's better than starving yourself. And it's not a once every day type of thing. This is the first time I've had a cheeseburger without it being a binging thing. If that makes sense. And I don't want it to ever be like that again. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think I might make a part two if this video is already too long. But... Um, let me know if you guys want a part two, but I feel like I've been, you know, just eating and talking too much. So I'm, I think I'm going to end this one now here. Let me know what you think, you know, what you think of this and let me know how you think I did. And if you wrote other foods, I will try them next time. If you guys want to see it next time, I'm going to finish this and I know I'm going to finish it because I love the oatmeal at McDonald's. You know, I hope this kind of opened your eyes and made you think a little bit about it because I was really sick. Like, I really was sick. Like, I just I didn't want to keep going and now I'm different. It's like my brain is different. I'm somebody else. Even in my saddest times, like, I'm, I don't want to die, you know? Like, it's not that extreme. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this and let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys next time, okay?